All right, Coach, preseason has come to the end. Uh, thoughts on what you've seen from your team out there? Well, I mean, it's always good for preseason to come to an end because it, it's thick and fast. You know, you get fatigued, um, but you always still feel like you never had enough time to cover everything. So there's a lot of things that are running through my mind right now that we still need to work on this, we still need to work on that. But last night's game, obviously our last preseason friendly, it, it was good. I think we, we were able to put a lot of the concepts together in a single performance. And I think the intensity and the speed of play at which we were able to um, to, to work into those concepts was very good. And, and it paid off because we managed to score some goals, which was nice. So I definitely see an understanding within the group. I see them starting to connect with each other, you know, within the attacking and the defensive, um, you know, concepts. We just need to tighten it up a little bit more. You mentioned not having enough time to get everything in. How do you go about uh, remedying that? beginning of the season yeah it's so difficult and unfortunately you end up using you know games in the regular season to still try and tweak things um, players are still learning you know certain movements still learning relationships and you know unfortunately they have to do it now you know during the games and there's going to be some risks to that uh, to a certain degree but hopefully we can prepare them properly and you know with each game they will add a little bit more experience. They will add a little bit more confidence within their own um, you know, group. And, and I think that's where we hope now every week we see ourselves getting a little bit stronger, a little bit more united, and we hope to build into that rhythm. What have you seen from your team that you've liked so far through this preseason? Yeah. I think certainly the drive. Um, you know, sometimes it's tough. You don't want to push too hard you know both physically and mentally you know in pre-season you're training twice a day we've had a lot of classroom lectures as well uh, and sometimes you can you can kind of crack you can push them too hard and physically they'll you know they'll fall down mentally sometimes they'll fall down but what I really liked about this group is it's almost like they were they were asking to be pushed you know that they, they wanted to drive themselves on that they wanted to try and and achieve as much as we could within that short pre-season time frame so I'm, I'm pleased with that. I'm pleased with the maturity within the squad. Obviously, we have, you know, the most returners we've ever had as a brand new program four years ago. Um, but that pleases me. I'm, I'm really proud of the way guys have stepped up. And hopefully now I need to do less shouting. They're actually doing it from within themselves, which is great. You had a, you know, big assigned class um, mixing in with those returners you just mentioned. How have you seen them, you know, gel here in the preseason? That's the trickiest thing because that's that's where now I'm the one putting um, combinations together and, and, and putting guys to build relationships on the field and obviously there are many permutations that you can do so I need to try and help them in learning quickly what their tendencies are and matching them up with players close to them that can can fit in well. I can get that wrong and I can put two guys close together on the field that just don't gel well. So it's difficult and that's hopefully where I can I can help them um, so that they click a little bit quicker. We've only managed you know, within the space of two weeks to build in a couple of certain uh, combinations, particularly in the attack. We still have others to look at and I've got to make sure I, I pick the right ones early and not the wrong ones. <laughs> This season, a little bit tougher schedule. Uh, you know, you face a couple big schools this year. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think is going to be key to have a good season for you guys? I, I think that's actually a good thing for our boys. Certainly, uh, if you consider the level of competition, if you're a natural uh, competitor yourself, you want to play against good teams, you want to challenge yourself. So we've always tried to build the strongest schedule we can. And I think the boys, you know, they look forward to those games. They'd rather play a team, you know, that have achieved something than, you know, than a lower level team. Um, so it's not hard to motivate them in that regard. Um, I, I want to see them you know, always wanting to achieve more, always wanting to have a higher level performance, you know, play for 90 minutes, connect, create more opportunities, be tighter as a defensive unit, deny, you know, any chances for the opposition. So I'm looking for them to almost every week and every game set themselves another target to achieve. I think that's a, a really good way for us to try and progress.